right, welcome back. It's still Metrofile right here on Channel mm -hmm. Television. We've been having fun on the show. Yes, we right have. Now to a more sober one, but still a celebration of a life well spent for Chief Matthew Emogene Jacob. Yes, um, Chief Jacob is an illustrious son of Delta State, but he died at the age of 73. Okay, his children sure gave him a befitting burial, so here is it. <laughs> The 15th of June will always come with mixed feelings for the Jacob family of Abraka in Delta State, South South Nigeria. This is the day they lost their beloved father, Chief Matthew Emogene Jacob. Chief Jacob transited to higher glory, leaving accomplished children to mourn him and carry on the legacies he left behind. Family and friends gathered at our Saviour's Church, Tafar Baliwa Square in Lagos, where the late Chief Matthew Jacob has been a long-time member. And oh, my soul so weary When troubles come And my heart burdened be It was his final funeral service in the most befitting manner. His wife, Olashade, and only son, Olumuiwa, as well as other children and members of his family, will no doubt miss a man they describe as a father in every sense of the word, as the officiating minister extolled his virtues. Chief Matthew Jacob was a different man to different people. A husband, a father, a grandfather, a great golfer, credited to be one of the founders of Nigeria Professional Golfers Association. It is also to his credit that the Nigerian Open Golf Tournament was recognized and became one of the biggest professional tournaments in the then African circuit of the European Tour. During his active years, he worked as a clerk at the German Embassy and functioned as a press attaché. The short funeral service came to an end as was taken to his final resting place. Tears rolled freely at the graveside. <laughs> dust, dust. When I am down and down my soul so weary, when troubles come and my heart burdened be, then I am still. When you say a father in a million, he is more than a father in a million. He was my father, he was my very good friend as well. And for almost 20 years, he played the dual role of father and mother, because my mother, my mother died about 20 years ago. He was um, a man who enjoyed having people around him, and not just you know around him, he, he loved he loved it when everybody was having fun and he was always laughing, he was always so joyous and um, he had a very good aura about him. Never would get angry 
And even when people treated him abominably or with disrespect or disdain, he always had something to laugh about. He truly was a beautiful soul. Girls later were entertained at the reception. As expected, his children moved around, acknowledging the presence of their guests. Their father's life, they said, is worth celebrating, and they did just that, hitting the dance floor. No doubt, he will be greatly missed by his family and friends. Well, he played his part and may he so rest in peace. And we say a big amen to that. Yeah. But that's how we round off the show today. To everyone we celebrated on the program today, we say congratulations. This can also be celebrated on the program. You can check out the number blinking right on your screen. Call to find out details about Metrofile. Also continue this online. Go to youtube.com forward slash channels web. There, of course, you can watch different editions of the program. Follow us on Twitter. You'll also find those handles right on your screen. I'm Anne Mwawadu. And I'm Ogi Chukwosi. Also remember that this edition of Metrofile repeats on Saturday at 12 noon. Yes, it and does. a fresh edition comes up on Sunday 9.30 a.m. with a repeat broadcast on Wednesday 11 p.m. So let's watch out for it. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you again next week. Take care. God bless.